I want to apologize to Lewandowski. Yeah, yeah, let's be clear. I was wrong and I admit it. I was wrong when I said that he was finished. My brother is actually one of the best players in the world right now. What the f*** happened to him? What did Flick do to him? I was thinking that people were stupid when saying that, okay, he will come back under Flick. The Lewandowski 2020 will come back. I was thinking that they were stupid. They don't understand shit. But now I'm the one that is stupid and I don't understand shit. I know that he is not the same footballer as he was back in 2020. But bro, the goal scorer is still the same. Bro, having 10 goals in like what? 9 games, 8 games in La Liga? At the age of 36, he's outperforming players like Mbappe. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. This is a fact. He is so good. He knows what he has to do. And that's to be an effective finisher. A goal scorer. Pure machine. Brother, this is beautiful to see him come back. As a finisher. Not as a footballer. Let's be clear. But there is another but. Okay, a big but. For now, I'm still not convinced about him and his performance i am convinced that yes my man is actually cooking and he is good but there is still important games ahead of us this is just the beginning of the season we need him when it matters when it matters it's the game against bayern munich for example the game against real madrid for example when we get to the later stages of the champions league for example in the semi-finals or the quarterfinals that's where i need him to show up for now i'm happy and i was wrong and i was wrong doubting him and saying that he is not performing so good but my man actually made me eat my words so respect to the don Lewandowski. my goat Lewandowski is actually back so respect to him i want to talk again about another man and that man is rafinha the best brazilian player in the world right now i don't care about vini rodrigo don't bring up those mother all respect to them but brother this guy is on a different level one of the best players in the world right now bro is so good since the day he got that armband, brother turned crazy. I've been calling for him to be a captain for so long just because he cares about Barcelona. He's not the best at football. Let's be clear. He's not the best player when it comes to dribbling, to finishing, to passing, to anything. But he cares about Barcelona. He plays with his mind and with his heart. He cares about the badge. He fights for the badge. You see mentally how different a player can be when it comes to loving and fighting for his club and caring for them. That's what happens. He performs so, so, so good. 10 out of 10 player. He puts the club above everything. He doesn't give f If he needs to pass, he will pass it. If giving an assist will help the team more than him taking a shot, he'll give an assist. He doesn't care. He put the team above everything. Above himself, above his teammates. He doesn't care as long as Barcelona is winning. That man loves Barcelona so much and we love you, man. And we love you, Ronaldinho Gaucho. You are back, papa. You are back. We are Barcelona. We are back. Glory days is ahead of us. Bring on Bayern. Bring on Real Madrid. We will cook them. We have Rafinha, the GOAT. We have Lewandowski. Brother, Brazil, give Rafinha the armband and Brazil will win the World Cup. Believe me when I say this. If this man have the armband of Brazil, he is the captain of Brazil. Brazil will win the World Cup. And Lemina didn't have a good performance. Let's be clear. Lemina didn't have a good performance. It was understandable. He can't be playing top every game. He's still 17 years old. He still needs to learn. And I'm happy about him actually being angry because he was subbed off. He didn't perform that good. You should be angry. You should care. And that's beautiful to see. We finally have been players that actually care for the team. Brother, this is beautiful to see. I'm, I'm actually happy. This is generational. I don't know what to say apart from Barcelona cooked. Brother, Inigo Maldini, Cubar Sinesta, oh my god, brother. And Hector Ford having a chance playing Kunde Racing. We had a beautiful game. Lamini Amel came out of the game before the 17 minutes. Pedri actually performed good, but not so good. Like, he performed good, let's be clear. He performed good, but not as good as I expected him to perform. But still, one of the best midfielders in the world. The defense was so great. I know it's Alaves at the end of the day, but come on. Alaves almost came back against Real Madrid in the Bernabeu. Let's be clear in here. Let's not get confusing. Before the international break, everything is good for us. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. God bless Flick. God bless that beautiful human being. God bless him. 